Well, let's take you to the Northwest University political science lecturer, Dr. Ushupeng Maseng. Good evening to you, and thank you so much for your time tonight, Dr. Maseng. Maseng, rather. I suppose when we look at the instability that has plagued the Northwest Conference over the last couple of years, really over the last term of office, whether it's in the ANC or even of government, it should come as little surprise that this conference is facing the kind of challenges it is. No, it, uh, it should not come as a surprise. I mean, uh, the Northwest province on its own in terms of ANC politics has consistently been uh, unstable. One, uh, if, if you, you could judge, for instance, across all the nine provinces of South Africa and check uh, how many premiers have been there in the Northwest against all these other provinces. There have been consistent changes in terms of premiers all these years. Now, when you take it and break it down to ANC politics, uh, there's been consistent, consistently so, where the National Executive Committee has been disbanding uh, provincial executive committees of the ANC in this province. And as we speak now, uh, the ANC at national level had instituted the uh, interim provincial executive committee and they gave them a certain period to actually establish branches and, and, and lead the conference to a provincial conference where we would elect the new leadership. Mm -hmm. But there's been consistent postponement of all these things. And as we speak now, if we, we are about to, to speak about uh, 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 what, what we would call uh, 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 inconsistency, as well as uh, 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 conflicts within the province. We currently have about six, if not seven or eight, uh, people contesting for a uh, chairpersonship mm. of, of the ANC Provincial Congress. Now, you, you, you'd imagine how this is, is going to turn out, because clearly... Uh, it shows to you that there are various factions, multiple factions that are historical and some of which, which are contemporary. But clearly, uh, 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 there are a lot of conflicts within, within the ANC particularly, and uh, this on its own has an impact or effect on, on, on governments as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, Obed Bapela, in that interview with Pilani, spoke about the issue of the branches and uh, the fact that they've been able to establish a significant number of branches. Ultimately, issues like that really come down to the legitimacy of a conference like this. And it's about the problems that you, you've just highlighted that have historically plagued the um, ANC in their province. I mean, are we likely to see a situation where the outcomes of this conference end up in a court in the way that we have seen before? You, you see, there, 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 there is something that uh, most of us uh, overlook within uh, the ANC's constitution. That uh, the ANC constitution clearly states that if we have 70% or so of uh, branches, agreeing that we should go for a conference and 70% of these branches uh, clearly correct it. We, we then would should go for a conference as the ANC states in, in its constitution. Now, even if you have disputes as multiple uh, branches and so forth, as much as you, you could have these 70% of these branches clearly stating that we are going for conference. There is nothing that can be done by these other ones which, which probably uh, are excluded from, from Congress processes. So 70% means that you go for conference as the ANC. All right. Let's leave it there for tonight.
Northwest University political science lecturer, Dr. Ushuping Masing.